Dear friends, namaste, and that's from me right now from Goa. And friends, here I would be talking to you about pranayamas for diabetes. Now there are several good pranayamas for diabetic patients must, must do according to me. And here I will be talking to you about pranayama which is relatively simple and it can easily be done. The name of the pranayama is called as Kapal Bhati. Kapal primarily means the skull and Bhati means to shine. This is also referred to as the forceful exhalation pranayama. In the West, they normally do call it as the skull shiner pranayama. Now in this pranayama, there are two important things. One is the forceful exhalations, and second is the force, the potency with which you exhale. Many times people do this pranayama, but the potency with which they exhale is pretty low. So the potency should be such that if you have your palm about six inches away from your nostrils, when you blow the air off like this, for example, you should feel the pressure of air in your palm region. So the important thing is that. So the important thing is to blow the air off with a lot of force. Now let me just guide you through the technique. In this pranayama, what you do is, first you take a deep breath in, your abdomen expands like a big balloon outwards. And then after that, without uh, consciously inhaling, you gotta blow the air off with a lot of force, with a lot of pressure, so that you can feel the pressure of air in your palm region. Now the important thing is the starting position. When you start on with this is, the first thing is, you got to take a deep breath in, expand your abdomen like a big balloon. Let it move outwards. After that, when you start blowing the air off, the pressure of air should be felt in your palm region, as I did demonstrate it to you like this. So that is very important. And do as many number of reps as you can easily do. Now this is called as a Kapal Bhati Pranayama, a very important for people suffering from diabetes. But again remember to first get into the starting position before you actually start your Pranayama. And the starting position is you take a deep breath in, you expand your abdomen like a big balloon and then after that you start with forceful exhalations. Again remember friends, the inhalations in this Pranayama are passive, that means they are happening on their own. All what you are concerned with is active, forceful exhalations. So friends, if you are diabetic or if you have any of your uh, friends who are diabetic, tell them to do this pranayama. Okay friends, do take care. And that's from Nikwik signing off from Goa.